Operating system is a system software that helps you to interact with the computer hardware. Windows operating system. Windows is an operating system produced by Microsoft for use on personal computers. Microsoft first introduced an operating environment named Windows in November 1985 in response to the growing interest in graphical user interface, GUI. After that, Microsoft Windows came to dominate the world of personal computers. A graphical user interface, GUI, is a type of user interface that allows users to interact with programs in more ways than typing. A GUI offers graphical icons and visual indicators. The actions are usually performed through direct manipulation of the graphical elements. They can be directly operated using a pointing device like mouse. Windows 10 is a new release of Microsoft Windows, a series of operating systems produced by Microsoft. Unlike its predecessor, Windows Vista, which introduced a large number of new features, Windows 10 was intended to be a more focused, incremental upgrade to the Windows line. In previous classes, you have learned about desktop, icons, start button and taskbar. You know how to open and close an application program and how to shut down a computer. Now we will learn how the operating system manage our files that we save. Managing documents and data. The main function of an operating system is to manage documents and data. Windows 10 manages documents and data through files and folders which are stored on different drives. Folders are containers of our files. Working with computer. Computer allows you to see the contents stored on your computer. It displays all the drives, files and folders. To begin, double click on this PC icon on the desktop or click start button from the taskbar and type this PC in search box. A window appears as below. Disk drives. Your computer consists of many disk drives like hard disk, compact disk, CD, etc. Each disk drive is assigned a specific letter followed by a colon and is referred by that only. Example, a hard disk is referred by the letter C followed by a colon. Example, C colon. Hard disk is the main storage of a computer. All the other storage devices are provided by a letter after that in alphabetical order. Normally, the hard disk inside the computer is generally divided into two partitions, C drive and D drive. Floppy disks are obsolete, but A drive and B drive are reserved for them only. The following table describes the drives that you find on most computers. How to see the contents of a drive? To see the contents of a hard disk drive or any other disk drive, simply double click its icon. Example, to view the contents stored on the E drive, double click its icon. This displays the various contents, files and folders stored on the drive. Files All the data on your computer is stored in files. There are many different types of files in a computer. For example, you can write a letter in Microsoft Word. It will be stored as a Word document file. File name extensions. All files that are saved by you have a name followed by a dot and three four letters. These three letters associated with the file are referred to as file name extension. The extension of a file enables you to know what type of file it is and accordingly displays the file icon. The file icon represents the program that can be used to open that file. For example, in the given figure, the file named office letter .txt shows a file extension .txt of a notepad program. File icons All the files stored on your computer have specified file icons. 
which display the name of the file and type of the program used to open it. Example, in the figure above, the file named office letter .txt shows an icon of a notepad program. Folders When you create many files and store them at the same place, it becomes difficult to find a particular file. Folders are like separate holders or containers for keeping different types of things. Storing files in different folders help you to locate them easily. Creating folders help you to manage your files and folders appropriately. You can also create folders inside a folder. A folder that are inside other folders are called subfolders. For example, if you have a folder named subjects, then you create folders such as maths, English, Hindi, computer, etc. for holding various files in these subfolders. Never delete any unknown files or folder. It may cause a big loss. Working with files and folders. Now you will learn how to create, open, rename, move, copy and delete a file or a folder. Creating a folder. To create a new folder, follow the following steps. Double click the PC icon on the desktop. Double click the drive letter. Right click in the right pane where the folder is to be created. A pop up menu will appear. Select the new option. A sub menu appears. In the sub menu, click folder to create a new folder. Type the name of the new folder and press enter key. The new folder is created by the name you specified. Or right click on the desktop. A pop-up menu will appear. Point at the new option. A related pop-up sub-menu will appear. Click on the folder option. A new folder icon appears. Type the name of folder and press enter key. Opening a file or a folder. To open a file or a folder, follow these steps. Double click this PC icon placed on the desktop. Double click the drive letter, C drive, D drive, etc. Double click the folder where the file or the folder is to be located. Double click the file or the folder to open it. Renaming a file or a folder. To rename a file or a folder, follow these steps. Right click the file or a folder. A pop up menu appears. Click the rename option. Type a new name for the file or the folder. Press the Enter key. The file or the folder is renamed. Moving a file or a folder using cut and paste. You can move a file or a folder from one location to another by performing the cut operation. To move a file or a folder to a new location, follow these steps. Right click the file or the folder that you want to move. Click the Cut option and go to the location where you want to move. Right click and select Paste option to paste the file or folder to new location. Copying a file or a folder using Copy and Paste. Right click on the file or the folder that you want to copy. Click the Copy option. Go to the location where you want to copy the file or the folder. Now click the Paste option. The file or folder will be copied to the new location and will remain at the previous place as well. Deleting a file or a folder To delete a file or a folder, follow these steps. Select the file or the folder that you want to delete and press the delete keys or right click the file or folder and select delete option. The computer will start processing to delete the file or folder. The file or folder will be deleted and shifted to Recycle Bin folder. Some important things to be kept in mind while working in MS Word are Operating System There are different types of operating systems Microsoft Windows, MS-DOS, Unix, Linux, etc. Desktop When we switch on the computer, the first screen that appears after loading the Windows operating system is called the Desktop. Icon. 
icon is a small labeled picture or symbol that represents a program, a file, or a folder. Taskbar Taskbar is a long strip at the bottom of the desktop screen that contains several buttons. The taskbar also shows the currently active programs. The clipboard is a temporary storage area which holds the file or folder until you perform paste operation. When you cut or copy a file or a folder, the file or folder is moved to clipboard. When you perform paste operation, it is moved from clipboard to the location where you paste. The cut operation copies and removes the file or folder from that place, whereas copy operation just copies it to the clipboard. When you delete a file, it is shifted to recycle bin folder. When a folder is deleted, all files and subfolders in it are also deleted.